So today we're talking about your third eye and how to open up your third eye. Now, I must tell you, a lot of you guys are on your spiritual journey, a spiritual awakening, but it's very, very important to understand what the package comes with when you do request your third eye opening. Now, you can use various ways or various things to activate your third eye. If you don't know what your third eye is, it's this buddy over here. This space right there. Now this is a very powerful tool because essentially your third eye is that which connects you to spirit and everything around the world. Your third eye contains DMT and DMT is the same drug that people or society or government rather um, across the world have basically criminalized which doesn't quite make sense to me because if DMT exists in every mammal and it exists outside in ayahuasca which is a plant found in like South America then why would you outlaw it? Why would you criminalize it if it exists in every single human being? When such things are done at a major scale, you must question it. You must sit back and be like, why are you criminalizing something we all are born with? Even the guy that says we are not, you, you cannot do DMT, it's against the law. That guy has DMT right here. It doesn't make sense, but there's a reason why. DMT activates in your third eye every time you start dreaming so if you start seeing things hearing things if you go to a world where that doesn't exist and it's filled with fairies and fantasies and it's not even um remotely evoked by what you see in reality it comes from a place that you don't understand dmt now some people uh, are born with their third eye wide open and uh, it's very, very easy to tell when it comes to your third eye being open. Um, you see in color um, and all the clairs is what you are. If you don't know what the clairs is, it's you being clairsentient, clair clairaudient, clairvisual. I don't know if that's or one, one of the clairs. But all the clairs, you're kind of prone to one of those. So you see auras, you see shadows, you see entities. Um, you see, uh, like dimensional shifts, you see, sh uh, shake shifters or shift, shift shakers or what, what are they called? You know what I'm talking about. Shape, shape shifters. You see shapes, uh, tongue twister. You see those things. And, um, it can be intense because remember the balance of spirituality is that of light and darkness so having your third eye open is basically saying yes i'm here i'm open to seeing weird things and if not protected you can be prone to attacks and if you don't know how to handle that then it become it becomes a very terrible painful extremely scary part of your life because now you have this thing that's open and you can't help but see things that no one else sees and that drives you nuts so I always tell people, when you are on this journey and you want to open up your third eye, please, please, please be very aware of what you're getting yourself into and know that the universe is only going to open up your third eye when you are ready to take on that responsibility because it's not everyone that can deal with that. Now, is there ways you can, you know, open up your third eye? Yes. Number one, meditation. Meditation is a beautiful tool to use to open your third eye, especially when you place emphasis on your third eye. So you want to close your eyes and basically push your pupils up towards this area. So you want to look up into this area and you want to literally just concentrate on that area. And naturally, over time, once you practice this, you will start feeling a pulsating sensation. It literally will feel like that. And that is signs of your third eye slowly opening. Um, it does help if you were to get a third eye opening crystal. Now, if you're into that, then I would suggest... That was a weird sound. I don't know where that came from. And it happened as soon as I waved this thing. So, you can use amethyst. Amethyst is a beautiful beginner um, third eye opening crystal. And remember, it's not about the size. Literally, when it comes to crystals, it's not about the size. You can use the tiniest amethyst. You place this over here and you meditate with that and boom. If you feel the crystals start pulsating like that, things are happening. You could also use labradorite or labrador, labradorite. That's this buddy over here. Now this thing is beautiful. I got this also as a 
Spirit told me to get this and I can see why. Beautiful crystal, but also very powerful. So this is like a beginner and then you move to this and this is like next level, okay? This also helps with third eye activation and literally starts, you start diving into yourself and that's some next level stuff. Beautiful experience. You could also use a Lapis Azuli. I don't know where my Lapis Azuli disappeared to, but a Lapis Azuli is also a powerful um, crystal. A lot of Egyptians used it back in the day. Um, the tombs were made out of Lapis Azuli. The headdress of the pharaohs were made out of Lapis Azuli. So you can imagine when they placed this um, body into, or pharaoh into the tomb made of Lapis Azuli, there was definitely a connection to, you know, it being linked to the spirit world. So those are the three crystals you can use. Meditation is also something you can use and um, open intention and willingness for that to come to you is also what you can use. However, I'm always going to tell you, be very wary about wanting to open up your third eye all of a sudden. If you are not prepared for what is on the other side of your third eye, do not ask for it. You do not want, because once your third eye opens, trust me, there's no such thing as just switching it off. It's there. And the thing about this process is that nobody else will quite be able to help you unless you are sur surrounded by people like myself and other people who share in this, you know, um, kind of content and belief. Because the normal day person will not see what you see, they will not experience what you experience, and they won't understand the level of sensitivity that comes with a third eye opening. So be very careful about that request. I wanted it, and as soon as it happened, Trust me, it's a beautiful experience. There's light to it. But walking in a mall is not the same again. Walking around people is not the same again. I can't just be around people and everyday people and be around certain places. I mean, as an empath, I can't do that already. But now with the third eye opening, oh, it's next level. It's even worse. So you will become insanely sensitive to a whole bunch of stimuli in reality. Be cautious of it. Be wary of it. But if you are on that journey, I look forward to bumping into you one day, doesn't matter where in the world you are, because it is a powerful thing and it was placed there for a reason. And do some research on that DMT tip. Like I said, it doesn't make sense to outlaw something that we are born with. So why would they want you to, why would they purposely want you to have your third eye closed? Why would they purposely want you to not activate your third eye opening through psychedelics? There's a reason. I'm not going to tell you why, you figure it out.